Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read. And uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's see what is going on for you for 2021 expansion. That is a big word that just pops right in. I'm going to do a little bit of a message here in the beginning and then we'll get on to the cards, but just expansion. This can be an expansion of your worries, your fears, your turmoil, or it could be an expansion of your peace, harmony, beauty, and grace. It's really up to you. If you think that your drive has to uh, be defined a certain way, I, I just heard fall off. So this is like, <laughs> this is that kind of year where you will know very abruptly when something is not working, okay? And if you refuse to take a turn or to do something that's a little healthier for you, uh, there's going to be even more of a, you're, you're going to see the results of it, okay? One way or the other, let's just put it that way. So what do you want to put your energy into? Can you give yourself more peace and harmony? I think a lot of you are going to be seeing the things that are happening out in the world and I feel like a lot of you are going to start like sort of bursting open and um, wanting to go chasing after something, you know, so we want to sort of be responsible with uh, how we move forward. Yes. And remember, you want to talk a manifestation year. This is a manifestation year. It could be a manifestation year for anybody anytime you want, but really be careful with what you're putting out there. Yes. Um, some of you might find that this is a year, depending on the approach that you take, like, let's say you are working at a job and you get really engaged in the drama at work. Well, that's going to turn right back around and whip you. I actually see a tail turning around and whipping you and it could endanger your job. This is no joke. Okay. Watch your power. <laughs> <laughs> watch your power, watch what you're putting out there. Yes. So as long as you're in your integrity, your love, your beauty, your grace, you're going to see more of that. And I know some of you will be like, this is such a simplistic message. It's just law of attraction. Well, let's not cheapen it. Okay. And let's really tune into what I'm saying here. Whatever, if you're having bad thoughts about people, you're going to find that you're kind of at war with them. If you're having a curiosity about why is this situation happening and you're trying to have some uh, compassion, well, then you're gonna find that, you know, there could still be rumblings and things may not go completely smoothly, but eventually it all kind of works out. Watch and be aware of what you do with your passions. I can't say it enough. Yes. Watch your intentions. If you are ill intentioned, this ain't going to be your year. God sees everything. <laughs> okay. God sees everything. Got more sirens. I think after your video, I'm going to shut down operation here for just a little bit. I still have half the signs to film, but I need to go see what's up. All right. Hmm. I see somebody walking. They look like they're out in the country and they're just walking barefoot in the dirt. And I, whenever I see an image like that, it's, it does tell me that there's like a want for a more peaceful existence, um, a little more grounding, a little detoxification. And taking the pressure off of yourself, that's really a big one. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So this is decision time. Really, you have to decide how you're going to show up and can you take the mask off. That person that says, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, and you know you're not fine, it's that kind of thing. Or if you are somebody who, let's say you live in a huge city and you're always you know, kind of define yourself as a city person, well, maybe you're a little hungry for getting back in touch with the earth and, you know, putting your feet in soil, <laughs> right? And just feeling the energy of the earth coming back to you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for some of you, if you can get out and do that, make sure you do. There's going to be a beautiful little experience there. Even if it's like feeling like a little kid again, let yourself have that moment. And yeah, 
You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So isn't that interesting? Show the world the real you. You're afraid to do it. You're afraid to let people see your vulnerabilities and your fears and all of that. Yes. But the thing is, is that's the most beautiful part of you because it's the most authentic. It's the most human. You are good enough. You can come on out and let people see who you are. Okay. Oh, this one wants to come right off the top. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. How interesting that I was saying you need to put your feet on the dirt. <laughs> and here's this, you know, groundedness card that says you are completely reevaluating most likely, most likely this year. You are reevaluating what it is that you've been going after because now if you're coming from a place where you're taking off that mask and you're not just pretending to like something when you don't, <laughs> right? Um, you can start heading in a whole new direction and being truer to what your, what your heart wants. That's what it is. What your heart has been asking you to do. Everybody's getting this card. It's a time of healing. I feel like, I don't think I've stated the obvious. It's balsamic moon. Um, yeah, I, I think this is like the 2020 hangover and everybody is just trying to heal from that. And watching an adjusting world, having to adjust to what has just occurred, right? So give yourself this chance to heal. Just take it easy this year. There's a lot of new and exciting things that are opening up for you, but they, they, there's some uh, realizations that have to occur first so that you allow yourself to engage in those changes. Does that make sense? Okay, so your color card, oh, I love this card. Your color card is cyan. Build your confidence. The number is 35. So it can be a very abundant time for you, but you need to change and let that change happen from a place of wisdom. And there is something, again, this vulnerability, not wanting to come out and let people see who you really are. It's your time. It is your time. Come on out. Know you are worthy. Know you have something to contribute. Know there can be change without severe repercussions. Right? Let your confidence be rebuilt. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.